a lot of reef keepers have problems with Aptasia and other pests and enemies. You know, there's many ways that people try to get rid of them. You can inject them with things like lemon juice, uh, vinegar, even hydrogen peroxide will work. You can smother them with uh, super glue, but maybe not so 100%. Uh, you can add bergy and neuter branches, which of course eat Aptasia, and people can even use powerful laser pointers to try to burn them away from their rock. So for this video, I gave that a try, and I found that between the trouble of keeping it away from my fish and worrying about reflections from the glass, the result of the laser on the Aptasia, it's probably not worth it. But you know, could there be other effects or maybe uses that laser pointers might have in our reef tanks? Hi guys and girls, I'm Reef Man, and today we'll be thinking about the effects of laser pointers on our fish. Now, don't forget to subscribe and you won't miss out on future videos about this kind of stuff as well. I love to share it with you all here on my channel, so watch for those. So, first off, a safety warning. Laser pointers can and are dangerous and they should be treated as such, uh, particularly ones that are strong enough to damage an anemone through all that glass and water. Uh, you know, think about what else is behind some goo and water. It's your retina. Don't take chances with your eyes. They're not replaceable, and reflected laser beams can cause nearly instantaneous damage to your eyes. At the very least, wear some protective laser-approved glasses. They're really cheap on Amazon. Or at least think about the angle, you know, basic geometry that the reflection's gonna have before you start poking around with them, um, especially through glass walls in your tank. All right, so with that said, there's a really short paper that's been published in Reef Biology, and it's all about the effect of red laser pointers on clownfish and three-spotted damsels. Now, in the paper, they're specifically studying amphiprion Chrysopteris, the orange fin or blue striped clownfish, and they studied these fish hosting in Heteractus magnifica anemones in French Polynesia. And before you comment, uh, please forgive my pronunciation, I don't have any formal training in Latin. So <laughs> they're specifically looking for the effect that a red laser pointer might have uh, because divers frequently use these laser pointers to indicate things of interest to other divers. You know, as you can see here, they leave a clear line in the water, and that's really easy to follow if you're, you know, swimming around. So the authors monitored fish behavior both with and without a laser pointer involved. They categorized the behaviors into six different types. Biting, where a resident fish will bite at an intruder. Chasing, where the fish actually leaves the anemone to chase off another fish. Hiding, which is just hiding amongst the inside of the anemone. Lunging, where the fish aggressively moves towards an intruder. Posing, where the fish postures and flutters its fins, usually at about a 45 degree face up angle. And then retreating, where the fish slowly moves into the anemone while also fluttering its fins and looking, looking bigger than it actually is. Now they counted all of these behaviors, and then they took a red laser pointer and moved it around the base of the anemone, and they counted the behaviors again. So what do you think they found? Well, the laser pointer actually increased the behaviors for all of these things, uh, for both the damsels and the clownfish, but only one of the behaviors was increased enough to be statistically relevant. The largest increase was in lunging. Remember, that's when a fish aggressively swims out at an intruder. And it's thought to be a territorial reaction to an invading fish, you know, protecting their anemone. Now, could these fish be interpreting the red laser pointer as a territorial threat? That's the idea that's put forth by the authors of this paper. And it's interesting that a column of light or a point of light on the rock, like a laser pointer would be, could be seen as an invading fish. You know, maybe it's the contrast of the light against the darker backdrop of the water. Maybe it's the motion of the light just going around the surface. Uh, it seems like there's more that needs to be studied on this behavior to fully understand the interactions of the fish with the laser pointer. I thought that this study was interesting because we often have territorial issues while introducing new fish to our reef tanks. I use a mirror that I tape onto my tank to provoke my more territorial fish, like my Achilles tang and blue spotted angelfish, uh, because that will avoid them from picking on my new arrivals. Um, but you know, maybe a laser pointer would also work. Now, I think the mirror is much safer though, both for myself and for my fish. You can also damage your fish's eyes with a laser pointer, of course. 
Now there's a link to the paper down below if you want to check it out. It's based on research done from the University of Akron, it's in Ohio in the United States, and it's a really easy and quick read, so check it out if you're interested. I hope that you found this as interesting as I did. It's pretty awesome research, and I want to learn more about the behaviors that I mentioned as well. So I think it's time to maybe dig into the references on the paper and do some more reading on it. So if you've gotten this far in the video, take a moment to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to get notifications when I publish new videos, you should click the notification bell and you'll get those on your phone. So thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Bye.